YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We made a ton of coins on Team of the Season cards today. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about if you should be selling all of them, other investments you can be doing, looking at the market with level up promo cards and expected SBCs in the next few days. But before we do all that, we gotta talk about content today on Sunday. If you wanna have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Sunday was a little more than we had expected. We knew that the 93 plus player pick was refreshing. And with that player pick, I already completed it. So we're not going to look at it, but there is a team of the season requirement in it. That's why we waited until Sunday to look to sell our team of the season cards. And they went up a good amount today because of that. Also for today, we got the Witzel SBC. We knew this from the objective and he's really cheap. He cost about 23,000 coins. I think it's, is it just an 84 overall squad? It's literally just an 84 overall squad to do this guy. And his objective is actually pretty easy to do as well. I think it's either five or 10 games and you don't need to do anything. He just needs to be in the team if I'm correct. So it's very easy to do his card. And then another SBC, this is where it started to get into the additional stuff that we weren't really expecting. Now, I mean, I'm not going to say, hey, additional SBC, this is great because this is just stupid. But EA released the 89 plus FIFA World Cup Fantasy Foot or Trophy Titan Hero Player Pick. Again, EA, what are you doing? It's July. Everybody hates this SBC. It is terrible. And I don't know if you guys have tried to open this player pick, but it sucks. Like it's really bad. And we have a very, very bad like to dislike ratio on Footbin. It's 5% up votes, 95% down votes. The SBC cost around 135,000 coins. There is actually a team of the season requirement in it. So for those people that are dumb enough to actually go out and do this SBC, you know, it did help team of the seasons a little bit there as well but yeah this thing sucks and it's just it's so outdated it's just why are the world cup heroes still in there even i mean even the trophy titan heroes there's a lot of shitty ones so i don't know kind of stupid from ea but another spc that we did get which i think is pretty solid is the draft token upgrade refreshing every single day and it's only an 81 overall squad so it's very easy to do. I mean, you can just go do the 80 plus times three upgrade pack. It takes six gold commons and you'll pretty much just be crafting this. So really easy. And uh, there's actually a draft objective that came out with that. And the draft objective is solid and it's making the draft. I shouldn't solid as in, you know, it's easy. You know, you just play the draft. You got to win the draft a few times. What is it? 12 times is the max amount. You don't get like ridiculous packs, but it is packs that's going to give you fodder and I mean, the draft token SBC is, it's an 81 squad. It's its so, so cheap. So a lot of people are going to be doing it. A lot more people playing draft. It should make draft a bit easier. So if you are decent at the game, honestly, you should just be able to fly through this objective. And um, that was content for today. So let's take a peek at team of the season cards. We saw them rise a good amount i told you guys on friday to buy them for eighteen thousand coins and i told you guys yesterday on saturday to buy them for twenty thousand coins i don't know what they're going for right now we're going to check it out i know that they were twenty five thousand coins at content drop how much are they now they are 20 they're above 25k so they were 25k minimum at content drop and if we're looking at them now they are up a little bit at about 26k it's looking like 26,000 coins let's find out i'm going to try to find the exact price but wow so they're actually up a little bit more if you have them honestly taking profit is not a terrible move but if you're taking profit you know i do think selling today on sunday is a good move but if you're selling today on sunday i think lazy listing is a decent way to do it like don't lazy list a crazy amount where you're really not going to be getting any sales say let's look up Cobal. no let's do uh gabriel strafesa that guy let's type it in like this so i did that horribly wrong okay so say this dude sells for 20 he's about 27.5 i'm gonna guess right he's 27,500 coins he'll sell after 10 minutes so i'd be like okay uh let's not do anything too crazy maybe lazy list for 28,500 28,250 coins. So just like a 500 to a thousand coin 
lazy list just go a little bit higher than what the card goes for and you can just make a few extra coins per card doing that but that's that with team of season cards i do think selling them today is a good move because i mean i don't expect more sbcs to come out requiring team of the seasons they could and I, I could be wrong and these team of seasons could rise more but when i'm looking at tomorrow on monday i wouldn't really expect a team of the season requirement i'd say maybe the 83 times 25 comes out again maybe 84 times 10 something like that and i don't think there were team of the season requirements in those so if there's no team of the season requirement that comes out the cards should you know go down in price because the team of the season sbc refreshes every single day i don't know when this refreshes so that's something that would be good to know let me see if i can find it real quick i, I it's so shitty that like it just doesn't work. It doesn't show you exactly when it refreshes. I think it refreshes on like Thursday or Friday, so we don't need to think about that yet. I'd say the day before or two days before this SBC right here, the Icon one refreshes, we will look to buy Team of the Seasons again. So I don't expect any SBCs tomorrow on Monday to require them, and I don't think anything is really refreshing that requires them. The 93 plus Shapeshifter I don't think is refreshing this SBC right here, the World Cup one, refreshes in two days, so at least nothing tomorrow on Monday. How many people are going to do that SBC when it refreshes as well? The world, I don't know. If people are still doing those hero SBCs, you're insane. This SBC as well, the 93 plus team of the season or shapeshifter player pick, I think expires. That would be on, is it Wednesday? If it expires on Wednesday, Honestly, I would just guess that it comes out again on Wednesday. And if it does, you know what we're doing? We're buying Team of Seasons the day before, just like we did last time. But last week, there was Team of Season compensation. So we got kind of screwed right there. So that's my take on Team of Season cards. Probably, if I'm guessing, we're going to buy them tomorrow on Monday, maybe Tuesday. Maybe on Tuesday. So that's my take there. Now, let's talk about fodder. Fodder, I told you guys in the previous video, is something we're probably going to end up buying today on Sunday. Now, it didn't drop as much as I was hoping it was going to drop, but I'm also filming this video much earlier than I usually do because I'm going to Brooks House. So there is time for this fodder to still come down in price. Like 84s, we're going to want around 2k. 85s, we're going to want around 5,000 coins. 86s, we're going to want closer to 7,000 coins. Now, if you have to pay an extra couple hundred coins for these cards, that's fine. But I'm just letting you know, I'm filming this video at 5.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Usually, in like four hours from now, these cards are a little cheaper and you can get better deals. Like 84s, I wouldn't be surprised if four hours from now... Instead of being 2,400, 2,500 coins, I wouldn't be surprised if they're 2,200 coins, 2,100 coins. So, you know, if you want to wait till later, uh, if my prices seem a bit off from what they currently are, that's why, because I would expect them to come down a little bit in price tonight. Now, if you're looking to buy the cards, here are some filters you can do. You're going to go 84s, as close to 2,000 coins as possible. So you're going to look at something like this and boom. Dang, it's, it's raining pretty hard outside. 84 overall cards. Where are we at? Not many are going to pop up because, you know, they're kind of expensive at the moment. I shouldn't say expensive, but they're up in price. So you're going to hop on a filter like this and you're just going to look through for the 84s. Now, if the prices are a bit off, you know what you can do? If you're going to pay it a little bit more, up the max price a little bit. Also, if you don't want to look for crazy deals, you can up them in price to get closer to what 84s are around, and you'll probably find more 84 overall cards when you do that. There you go, Perisic, Perisic. So that's what you're going to do for 84 overall cards. For 85 overall cards, you're going to go min price, 2100 max price. We want them around 5k, so it'll look something like that, and we'll do, boom, 2100, 5200, 1025. So we'll do something like that, and you should get a good amount of 85 overall cards. And just like in all the previous videos, I can't get my market to work. I don't know what it is. It just hasn't been working lately. I search and see, that's what you have to do. Sometimes you have to adjust it and then the market actually works. But when that wasn't there and I searched, it pops me up to the 23rd minute. So sometimes I give you guys these filters and you're like, dude, you're doing the filter in it and it looks nothing like it looks like it sucks. It's just the market doesn't always show what's actually there. So that's what you should do for 85 overall cards. And then 86 overall cards, you want to go min price, 3,600 max price, 
probably go 7200 min by now 1025 and this should give you a good amount of 86 overall cards and that's my take on fodder 84 is around 2k 85 is closer to 5k 86 is closer to 7,000 coins and we're looking to sell them on wednesday I might say sell them on Thursday in tomorrow's video. It's going to depend on what we get tomorrow and if it's an SBC that refreshes every day. Like if we get an 84 times 10 SBC, it refreshes every single day and it refreshes again on Thursday. I'm probably going to sell my fodder on Thursday. So that's that. And uh, yeah, Brooke's telling me maybe come over a little bit later because it is pouring outside right now and I can hear it. Uh, so that's that with fodder. Let's talk about level up cards now. They are moving like crazy. And if you're trying to get them for your team, we're going to kind of go over a little bit. So fluctuation trading with these cards. If you are out here gambling on these level up cards, man, they are going up and down and up and down. If you are, you know, taking the gamble, there is a lot of profit. I haven't been watching them. Probably stupid of me not to be watching them. But, you know, it is a little risky, but people that, you know, maybe took a gamble today, we saw Darwin Nunez down at 560,000 coins. A few hours later, he was up at 780,000 coins and he's right back down at about 630,000 coins. Now, I do think as the week goes on in general, these cards every single day will just, you know, start to go down, especially as footy starts to come around the corner. So, you know, basically... What I would say, if you're trying to trade with these cards, they're risky. But if you're trying to do them for your team, like you want to buy Darwin Nunez and complete his objective, the best time to buy him, I would say, is just kind of watch, wait for a big drop off. Like, say we get, I mean, I know it's Thursday, but it, you got to be careful. If you're doing the card, make sure you're doing it that day. If you keep holding a level up card for more than a day, especially as we get later into this week, and maybe it's not confirmed that footies is the next promo, but if, you know, leaks start to come out for the footies promo, you're probably going to see a little bit of panic on the market. So you want to be careful there. And if you do it, just try to get it done in one day. But, you know, just try to look out for a big dip. Like we saw Darwin Nunez was... 850k and then overnight he dropped down to 560k that's a 300,000 coin drop off so if you see a big dip like that i mean maybe if darwin nunez tonight goes below 600k maybe closer to 500k that could be a decent time to buy him try to get the objective done and then sell him off and you know if you do time it right you could make coins but i'm just trying to help you guys lose the least amount of coins as possible i guess when you're doing this and um I guess I could say same thing for level up team one level up team one came down a lot like Renato Sanchez was what six seven he's down at three seven these guys especially as they get closer to expiring so their objective expires I think on Friday I'm thinking about doing some of those cards on Friday because on Friday uh the objective expires and a lot of people are going to be getting rid of the cards before they expire because once the objective expires i wouldn't say the cards are useless but you know the value on them it's not nearly as high as it is when this objective is out so if you want to try to get any of these done i'd say like thursday there could be a big big sell-off big panic selling on some of these cards maybe try to pick them up get the objective done quick and then sell the cards so just letting you guys know these cards are probably as we get closer to this objective expiring, going to drop a lot. And then I think the other team has, you know, a little bit of time. Yeah, they have, it's two weeks, just like team one was. So uh, that's my take on level up cards. A lot of, lot of fluctuations on level up team two. The Darwin Nunez was crazy. A lot of them moved a good amount. It's not just the Darwin Nunez. And uh, yeah, I want to mention as well, I'm going to let you guys know later in the week, maybe investing in someone like Chao Enrique. We saw some of level up team one, the lower budget guys go up in price, but I somewhat feel like they're only up in price maybe because of the fact that they're fodder. So level up team two, we're going to keep an eye on that. Maybe on Thursday, Chao Enrique before he goes out of packs, I'll buy him, but I'm not too sure there. And I think that is it for the level up cards. Yeah, basically, if you do, 
if you buy any of the cards, you got to try to get them done as quick as possible and sell them as fast as possible. Just try to buy on a big dip. Don't buy the card when it's going up in price. Try to pick it on a downward trend and hope for that rebound. Uh, so selling team of the seasons, buying fodder. Let's talk about expected SBCs. So expected SBCs, we kind of mentioned it already. Tomorrow on Monday, upgrade SBC day. We're probably going to get a player pick. The player pick is not nearly as good as the level up crafting upgrade is. This thing is incredible. Uh, we will, I'm hoping 83 times 25, 84 times 10, 85 times 7 SBC. Something like that, that refreshes every day. Tuesday, not guaranteed an SBC, but maybe something. Expect a couple player SBCs as well. And then on Wednesday, probably the 93 plus team of the season shapeshifter player pick SBC coming out again. And that's what I would expect for content in the next few days. And maybe Wednesday or Thursday, we'll start getting leaks for footies. I don't know. We'll see. But you know, like I said in the previous video, if you guys have teams that are tradable, be careful because with footies, the market usually tends to go down a lot. And you know, I haven't said this in a little bit, but if you have team of the season cards, they're just going to keep going down. As time goes on every single day they're going to keep going down and down in price because of the team of the season sbc that is tradable excuse me that refreshes every single day also i just want to mention trading with team of the season cards i mean the fluctuation trades with these cards is so easy and i wanted to show this one because you guys know i talk about your day every time i want to see if this guy is still cheap because i was checking right before i started this youtube video your rent day at 54k oh brother come on that's too good the, sniping this guy for 54,000 coins or less and listing him for 59k it made me so much and remember if you guys want to snipe this is the faster screen because when you're sniping you can click buy before a card even pops up so it's just much faster doing it from this screen and uh yeah, just remember to fluctuation trade with team of season cards. I do it every single day at content drop like Tamori is one of them. I, the cards might be a bit cheaper right now as well because a bit of a uh, little bit of foot champs weekend league sell off. But Tamori, we were buying for like 25K. You can still probably buy this guy for like 25,000 coins. And this is a card you can easily list up for around 28,000 coins. So if you want to pick this guy up for, I'd say try to go below 25K, list for about 28K. Pretty solid. Your rent day, I buy for 54, list for 59.5. And those, oh, there we go. I'll send that one to my transfer list. I do, damn, that's very laggy. Okay. Um, all right, I bought that one. But I do stuff like this every single day at Content Drop. If you want to join the Twitch live streams, description down below. But that is it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Any questions, comment section down below. My Twitch live stream, my free trading Discord, description down below. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.